video candle. In earlier classes, we know that formula that is area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. In line standard, we know that how to find area of triangle that is by Helmholtz formula. So Helmholtz formula we know that that is equal to uh, area of triangle we denote by triangle that is delta. So area of triangle is equal to square root of S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Here S is semi perimeter and A, B, C are the length of the sides. So in 10th standard, we are going to learn how to find area of triangle, triangle when coordinates are given. So first we will derive that formula. So area of triangle if coordinates are given. So this is x axis, this is y axis, this is OBC. So if triangle ABC is given, means coordinates are given. So A having coordinates x1 y1, B having coordinates x2 y2, and C having coordinates x3 y2. Now we have to find the area of triangle ABC. So here first we have to draw perpendicular from ABC on x axis. So here AM is a perpendicular on x axis, then BN or BL and then CN. So here AM perpendicular to x axis, or we can write like this way AM, BN and CN perpendicular to. Now we have to find area of triangle ABC. So we can find area of triangle ABC. Suppose if I am taking this trapezium, these are trapezium A, B, L, M, A, M, N, C, and B, L, N, C. So if we have to find area of triangle ABC, then first we have to add area of trapezium A, B, L, M plus area of Trapezium ACNM and minus area of trapezium BLNC. So area of triangle we can write like this way. Area of triangle ABC is equal to area of trapezium ABLM plus area of trapezium A, M, N, C and we have to subtract area of trapezium that is B, L, N, C so we will get area of triangle A, B, C so minus area of trapezium B, L, N, C now we know that how to find area of trapezium. So formula to find area of trapezium that is area of trapezium is equal to half into sum of parallel sides multiplied by height h. So area of trapezium formula is half into sum of parallel sides multiplied by height or multiplied by height means distance between the two parallel sides so here if I am taking this area of trapezium ABLA so AB, LM these two sides are parallel sides BL and AM so half into BL plus parallel side another parallel side is AL so BL plus 
km multiplied by height is so distance between two parallel sides is L so height is L plus if I am making triangle that is AM and C AM and C so parallel sides are AM and NC and distance between these two parallel sides is M and so height is M and parallel sides are AM and C so half into sum of parallel sides that is AM plus C length and multiplied by height is M minus B L and C so this represents here B L and C so parallel sides are B L and N C and distance between B L and N C is L so half into B L plus N C into distance is L now we have to find all these distances in terms of coordinates so here I am writing all these distances. Okay, here I am writing these distances. Okay, so here first we have to find BA, then AM, then LM. So, see here. So, B having coordinates x2 y2 means BA distance is y2. OL distance is x2. So PL distance, if you want, that is a y2. So PL is equal to y2. Next, AM. AM distance, AM. A having volumes x1, y1 means AM distance is y1 and OL distance is x1. So AM, that is y1. Next, LM. Now this LM distance we will get here BM coordinates x2 y2 means OL distance is this distance is x2 and AM coordinates x1 y1 means OL distance is x1. So if we want LM, so LM is equal to OM minus OL. So LM we will get OL minus OL. So OM is x1. And OL is x2. So this is x1 minus x2. Now next distance we have to find that is AM, CN and ML. So AM is equal to now AM. Again AM is y1 because AM coordinates x1 so AM distance is y1. We are already we over here, AM is equal to y1. Now next CN distance. Now C having coordinates x3 y3 means C A distance is y3. So C A is equal to y3. Next M N. Now M N distance how we will get? That is O N minus O N. So O N distance is x3 because C having coordinates x3 y3. So O N distance is x3. So this distance is x3. Now if we want if we want Mn, so that is OL minus OL, so x3 minus x1. So Mn distance here I am writing now directly x3 minus x1. Next, that is BL, N C and L. So BL we already know that is Y2. N C or C N that is here we know Y3 and L N is we have to find the length distance. So, length distance that is we uh, we get the length that is equal to O n minus O n. So, O n is equal to x t. O n is equal to x two. So, the length distance is x t minus x two. So, the length is equal to x t minus x two. Now, we have to put all these distances here. So, that is equal to half n. Now BL plus AL. So BL distance is Y2 plus AM distance is Y1 into LM distance. So LM distance is X2. 
x1 minus x2. So we are going to put here x1 minus x2 plus half from 2. Now we have to put this distance as am plus cm. So am is y1, cm is y3. So that is y1 plus y3 multiplied by mn. So mn distance that is x3 minus x2. So here that is x3 minus Plus minus half into dl distance that is y2, cn distance that is y3, so y2 plus y3 multiplied by ln distance, ln is x3 minus x2. Now we have to write in simplified way. Now we have to find area of triangle ABC. So here we have to write this in simplified way. So we have to take first half common. So half take common here. So half in bracket. Now this x1 multiplied to both this bracket y2 plus y1. And here also minus x1 is there. So we are going to take x1, x2 and x3 common. So first and any x1 common. So x1 multiplied to this bracket. So if I am taking x1 common, in bracket this y2 plus y1 remain. Then here minus x1 is there. So because of this minus sign, sign will be change of y1 plus y3. So this minus sign we have to give here. Minus y1 minus y3. Plus now we have to take x2 common. So if I am taking x2 common, here minus x2 is there and here minus x2 is there. But this minus sign and this minus sign will become plus and this minus sign we have to give for y2 and y1. So minus y2 minus y1. And here y2 plus y3. So plus y2 plus y3 plus x3 take common so if I am taking x3 common here x3 is there and here x3 is there but here minus sign is there and here this x3 multiplied to y1 plus y3 so y1 plus y3 and because of this minus sign we have to give this minus sign to y2 and y3 so minus y2 minus y3 if you don't understand this you can multiply all the terms and then you can take x1, x2 and x3 common because if I am taking all this multiplication then it is big so I am taking directly x1, x2 and x3 common so here half into x1 now here plus y1 minus y1 cancel so x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into plus y2 minus y2 cancel y3 minus y1 plus x3 into now here plus y3 and minus y3 cancel so y1 minus y2 remain so this is formula half into now we have to give here more sign or modulus sign because area is always positive so if we will get this answer is negative because of that modulus sign it becomes positive so we have to write this in modulus sign so mod of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y1 so this is area of triangle ABC and this formula we can keep in mind in easy way because these are in cyclic order so if I am writing this 1, 2, 3 
this is a cycle order means 1 2 3 2 3 1 1 2 3 2 3 1 and 3 1 2 first you have to write this all and then write x1 and here in bracket y so here x is there and here in bracket y is there so in easy way we can keep in mind this formula or another method is there so now i am working with this another method is there to remember this formula that is called stair method so you can write this formula in this way so first we have to write this half here and this word uh, coordinates you have to write in stair in stair means here you have to write x1 x2 x3 and again you have to write x1 and here you have to write y1 y2 y3 and y1 and here in this method we have to first multiply this means x1 y2 x2 y3 and x3 y3 means here half into we have to multiply in this way x1 y2 plus x2 y3 plus x3 y1 and after that we have to multiply in this way means x2 into y1 x3 into y2 and x1 into y3 but here we have to do minus sign so minus in bracket x2 into y1 plus x3 into y2 and plus x1 into y3 so this is easiest way to remember this formula so you can solve by using this method or this formula or you can use this stair method so both way we can find area of triangle ABC ok now uh, this is area of triangle ABC that is half into mod of x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 now we have to use this to find or to prove that points are collinear or not so if points are collinear so everyone should know that what is mean by collinear collinear means if points are lie in one line so these points are collinear so if you have to prove that points are collinear means if vertices are given and we have to prove that given points are collinear or not so we can prove by using this formula so if points are collinear area of triangle ABC is 0 means triangle is not formed because points are collinear so area of triangle ABC is 0 so if we put triangle ABC is 0 means this term is 0 ok so if we prove only x1 into this y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so if we prove only this term is 0 then we can show that points are collinear so another method we know that we can prove that by using distance formula means if sum of any two distance is equal to third distance then that three points are collinear but this is easy to find or this is easy to prove that points are given points are collinear or not we have to check that if this term is 0 then given points are collinear if this term is not 0 then given points are not collinear okay, now we will solve example based on formula of area of triangle so here example is find the area of triangle whose vertices are a 3 2 b 11 8 and c 8 12 so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 this is x3 y3 so in rough you can write this is x1 y1 x2 y2 and this is x3 y3 now first write the formula that is area of triangle abc is equal to half into mod of x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus 
right. Now we have to put on the values. Now we have to model x minus 3, y2 minus y3. So y2 is 8, y3 is 12. So a minus 12 plus x2 is 11. So 11 into y3 minus y1. So y3 is 12, y1 is 2. So 12 minus 2 plus x3 that is 8 into y1 minus y2. So y1 is 2, y2 is 8. So 2 minus 8. So half into mod of 3 into 8 minus 12 that is minus 4 plus 11 into 12 minus 2 that is 10 plus 8 into 2 minus 8 that is minus 6. So this is half into minus 12 plus another 10 minus 48. So here half into mod of minus 48 minus 12 that is minus 16 plus another 10. So another 10 minus 16 that is 50. So mod of 50 that is half into mod of 50 is half into 50. So that is 25. And here you need to write 25 square units. Because area having unit that is square. So we can write 25 square units. So area of time like this is 25 square units. So now we will solve example based on formula of area of triangle. So here example is find the area of triangle whose vertices are A, 3, 2, B, 11, 8 and C, 8, 12. This is x1 variable, this is x2 variable, this is x3 variable. So, in the you can write this is x1 variable, x2 variable, and this is x3 variable. Now, first, write the formula that is area of triangle ABC is equal to half into mod of x1 by 2 minus y3 plus x2 by 3 minus y1. Plus x3 y1 minus y. Now we have to put on the values half into mod of x1 is 3 y2 minus y3. So y2 is 8 y3 is 12. So a minus 12 plus x2 is 11. So 11 into y3 minus y1. So y3 is 12 y1 is 2. 12 minus 2 plus x3 that is 8 into y1 minus y2. So y1 is 2, y2 is 8. So 2 minus 8. So half into mod of 3 into 8 minus 12 that is minus 4 plus 11 into 12 minus 2 that is 10 plus 8 into 2 minus 8 that is minus 6. This is half into this. minus 12 plus another 10 minus 48. So here half into mod of minus 48 minus 12 that is minus 16 plus another 10. So another 10 minus 16 that is 15. Half into mod of 50 is half into 50. So that is 25. And here you need to write 25 square units. Because area having unit that is square. So we can write 25 square units. So area of time like this is 25 square units. Okay, now second example is prove that the points, so these three points are given. We have to show that these points are collinear. So if points are collinear means in your triangle ABC, that is, we have to show that x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y3 is equal to 0. So if we have to show that these three points are collinear, Means we have to show that this term is 0. Now here, this is x1 y1, this is x2 y3, 
is 2 by 2 and this is x3 by 2. So we have to put all these values here. So first we have to show that this value is 0. So here I am writing this term x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 is equal to we have to this values here x1 is a a into y2 minus y2 minus y3 so a into y2 minus y3 now y2 is c plus a y3 is a plus b so c plus a minus a plus b plus x2 into y3 minus y3 so x2 is d y3 minus y1 that is a plus d minus d plus c so a plus d minus d plus c plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so x3 is c y1 minus y2 that is d plus c minus c plus c so d plus c minus c plus a now a into first we have to solve this diagram right? c plus a minus a minus b plus b into a plus b minus b minus c plus c into b plus c minus b minus a now we have to have this plus c minus c here plus b minus b and plus c minus c so we have to say that a into c minus b plus b into a minus c plus c into b minus a. Now if you multiply this ac minus ab plus b minus bc plus c b minus c. Now we have minus ab and plus b cancel plus ac minus c a cancel minus b c plus c b cancel so answer is 0 so answer of this term is 0 means these 3 points that is points so here we can write answer like this a in a comma b plus c b comma c plus c and c comma b plus b are Okay, now we will take how to find area of quadrilateral by using formula of area of triangle. So area of quadrilateral, so suppose this is quadrilateral ABCD. Now if we have to find area of this quadrilateral ABCD and A, what does it sir? A1. Uh, coordinates of vertices are given then we have to draw any diagonal either join AC or join B any one diagonal so we will get two triangles so we have to find area of each triangle and we have to add the area of two triangles so we will get area of quadrilateral ABC so here I am joining AC so here I am writing all these coordinates A having coordinates 1 1 B that is 7 minus 3 C 12 2 and B 7 20. So first we have to find area of triangle ABC and then we will find area of triangle ADC. We will add this to area, we will get area of quadrilateral ABC. So first area of triangle ABC. Now we know that formula that is half and x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 so half into mod of here I am writing directly values so x1 that is 1 1 so you can take this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 or you can take this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 this is x3 y3 you can take any way but answer is same so here this is x1 y1 here I am taking a is coordinates of vertices of A that is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and this is x3 y2 so 1 that is x1 
y2 y3 so minus 3 minus 2 plus x2 that is 7 y3 minus y1 so 2 minus 1 plus x3 that is 12 y1 minus y2 so 1 minus minus 3 Now we have to simplify this so half into mod of so this is 1 into minus 3 minus 2 that is minus 5 plus 7 into 2 minus 1 that is 1 plus 12 into 1 minus minus 3 that is 1 plus 3 that is 4 so half into mod of this is minus 5 plus 7 plus 48 Half into mod of 48 plus 7 that is 55, 55 minus 5 that is 50. So half into 50 that is 25 square units. So area of triangle ABC is 25 square units. Now we have to find area of triangle. Thank you. 